electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities. I can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other fuel. This new power for the driving of the world's machinery will be derived from the energy which operates the universe. The cosmic energy, the cosmic energy, the cosmic energy, the cosmic energy. In 1905, physics genius Nikola Tesla submitted his U.S. patent 787412, which was titled The Art of Transmitting Electrical Energy Through the Natural Medium. It included designs for a series of worldwide generators. Tesla realized that the ionosphere was sparkling with electrical energy which could easily be tapped. Planet Earth, according to Tesla, was a gigantic electrical generator spinning around two magnetic poles from which limitless energy can be harnessed using the right medium or shape. His device was later referred to as Tesla's electromagnetic pyramid, based on his design looking like a triangle shape. Tesla tapping into the actual shape of the pyramid, I believe, was something that, that just came round about through his investigation into the location of the pyramids because what appears to have happened is that he realized that it wasn't the actual shape of the pyramid so much although pyramids uh, exhibit uh, fractal energy much more efficiently than other types of designs but what he discovered was it was the location of the pyramids that created the power and when he, be, he built his uh, facility here in Colorado Springs and then um, on the East Coast, he did so according to the laws of where the pyramids at Giza were constructed. And it had to do with the elliptical orbit of the Earth and those sites' relationship to the actual equator. That there was an actual construction somehow taking place between those very specific sites and the overall energy field of the Earth. And because of that, he believed he could transmit power wirelessly. Tesla's discovery and device disappeared after his mysterious death in 1943. But what he was trying to tap into might have just scratched the surface of understanding the power of something much more ancient. According to Nikola Tesla, 369 is the key to the universe. Tesla became so obsessed with this 369 that he would drive around a building three times before going inside of it. He cleaned his place with 18 napkins, lived in hotel rooms only with the number divisible by three. He made calculations about things in their immediate environment just to make sure the result was conceivable by three. And he based his choices on the results. He did everything in sets of three. What is Nikola Tesla trying to make us understand? We must understand that we did not create mathematics. We discovered them. It is the universal language and law. No matter where in the universe you are, one plus two will always equal three. Everything in the universe obeys this law. These forms are in nature, but the ancients emulated these forms in construction. If Nikola Tesla's obsession was with these numbers, and his goal was to define his location and time in space, could it be possible that ancient humans created monuments like the Great Pyramids to remind us of these truths? Tesla would, instead of receiving gifts on his birthday, would give a gift of a new invention to the world.
people have no concept. Everything that you are experiencing in the world today is largely influenced by things that Tesla invented um, and put out into the world, uh, including, uh, for example, uh, the radio, which uh, was proven in court, was not Marconi's invention, but was Tesla's, um, uh, the uh, coil, which make you know modern cars you know possible uh, uh, all sorts of things, um, uh, even the uh, um, alternating current. Our world is this gift to the world to humanity of the person of Nikola Tesla uh, is is stunning. And one of the things Tesla, you know, he had. Um, um, Women that liked him. He was actually a woman's man. They loved him. Uh, he was very uh, statuesque. He was a very fit, good-looking man all of his life. He was dapper. And women were attracted to him. Um, he uh, uh, was raised by, uh, uh, you know, a pastor and his wife. Um, so he was a very spiritual man. And um, he actually, on occasion, had commented that his work um, would not allow him the luxury of a uh, wife and children because he had a duty to the world with the things that he had, his understanding of the world, his, his understanding of the physics, the things he had to create. He was internally driven to build on everything he'd done. And so we received, he, he kind of, um, he he forego he'd forego certain um enjoyments pleasures that everybody else would seem uh that they deserved or should have or whatever and he passed over them in order to complete his mission he was a man with a mission so i would love to celebrate and continue to build out and understand and remember that day uh for me as a holiday I think it's an important day that we need to, um, you know, kind of uh, uh, give thanks for this gift to the world of Nikola Tesla. And a lot of his work, a lot of the things that he understood and presented are not fully understood even today. And uh, there's room to build out and expand on that. And entrepreneurs, inventors uh, would do well to revisit some of the things that he had there that will help the world out in the future. So I'm a huge, huge, huge Tesla fan. And um, uh, I've spoken at a couple of uh, Tesla events uh, in years past, quite some long time ago. Uh, there's a couple of Tesla clubs out there, and I have a lot of respect for the people that continue to build out the legacy of Nikola Tesla. So what I want to do on July 10th, and I'd actually like to do it every year, I want to just present things related to Tesla. In fact, I have uh, mm. um, one of his uh, relatives who is going to do some presenting, we hope, um, with unique insights um, uh, related to uh, Nikola Tesla.